And now, for something completely different. Welcome to the lab. Your favorite lab technician over here. The VCT analyst with a brown bag in the background that he got from uh, Takeout. Guys, today is, today is a little bit different. It's not about the game per se. It's not about even players per se. It's something about the game's economy. And not the game economy that we have in the actual game, but I wanted to speak about skins. I wanted to speak about skins because I feel like there's a, there's a problem that I, uh, that I feel like is unresolved. And that problem lies with Radiant. I feel like there's an issue where the game is punishing people who would like to buy more skins but they are being actively discouraged to buy more skins. And I will explain you what I'm thinking. So, when I started playing the game, I was buying every single set. I'm, I, I am considering myself a whale. You know, like when it comes to the spending on this game, I consider myself a whale. I think I spent over 2,000 euros on the game already, right? Which is fine, by the way, because... It's, it's something that I do full-time. It's something that I enjoy a lot. I love supporting the developers of a game that I like. So I'm not mad at myself that I spent the 2k euros. I had the cash to spend for it, and I enjoy the skins. But there's a problem, because the Radionite system that we currently have in the game is not incentivizing you to buy more skins. So, for example, when I go to my, uh, to my collection, right, and I go to my skins, when I, when I look at my, my guns, I don't have everything upgraded, because Raidenite is Spurs. I didn't buy a lot of skins lately, so I have a lot of spare Raidenite that I'm worried about using. So I would like to upgrade all of my skins to have finishers, all this, all, all the, um, you know, variants and so on, because I spent a lot of cash on those skins. But I'm worried that if a new next set of the skins is going to get released, I'm not going to have enough Radiantite to upgrade the skins that I'm already spending a lot of cash on. And Radiantite is insanely expensive. Right? Insanely expensive. Which I don't consider, as a whale, I don't consider worth spending cash on a Radiantite to upgrade the skins. So even though... I liked a lot of set skins that are in the game, but I didn't buy them because I didn't feel like buying Radiantite. For example, this, Chronovoid, would love to have it. I had the cash to buy the set, but I spoke to, my, to myself like in, uh, inside and said, well, yo, bro, you were going to have to spend 30, 45, 60, 75 uh, 90 Radiantite for each, each skin to have it maxed out. If I wanted to look nice with one variant, then that means I need to spend 45 per skin, right? So, another set, Abyssal. I think it's a very cool set of skins as well, but I didn't buy it because I'm worried about Radiantite. Protocol, the same stuff, you know? Reaver, I don't like. But the thing is, uh, RGX2, the same stuff, you know? Like, all of those skins that I would like to buy, I just didn't buy because I didn't want to spend more on Radiantite. So, who is Radiantite catering to? Right? What is the, what is the design for Radiantite? How do people just do justify... Sorry, not people. How, do, how does Riot justify the Radiantite existence? Because it seems that the Radiantite is made for people who are really big whales, like the biggest whales who really don't care about money, or it's made for the smallest players to be incentivized to buy their first skins. So essentially, you play into Battle Pass, right? You play into Battle Pass, and you get the Raid Unite for playing the game, and then you cannot really spend it, because there's not many skins that you can spend Raid Unite on from the Battle Pass. So, you accumulate that, that Radiantite, and you feel at some point, well, hmm, I already have this Radiantite. There's this nice set of skins that I don't want to spend the cash, but maybe I should because I have a lot of Radiantite. But people who are, boring, who are buying a lot of set, set of uh, skin sets, they cannot really, like, justify buying more skins because that means they will have to buy more Radiantite because they don't get enough Battle Pass Radiantite to just have enough to upgrade their skins 
So it hurts the middle, middle tier of clients. It doesn't hurt the high end because the high end doesn't care about the money that they spend anyway. And in my opinion, it kind of hurts the smallest clients because it's, it's, in my eyes, a little bit predatory with the way that Raid and I just works. So it's predatory towards the low end and the medium end. And the high end, as usual, doesn't really care. So, and I'm saying this with full, you know, I'm, I'm supporting Riot with Valorant. Like, I love Valorant, I love Riot, I love the people that work there. But I do think that some stuff that needs to be called out, because I think the rating system is just not well thought for the good of the clients, of people who are playing Valorant. And there's an easy fix for that, by the way. By easy, I mean from my perspective, because it would require Riot to earn less money, which, as we know, that's probably not going to happen. And I consider the skins in this game already expensive, but I consider them also an okay price, because you don't have to buy skins, right? But if you buy the skins, then the problem is the Rady Knight, and that shouldn't be a thing. So how do we fix this? What would be the best solution? In my eyes, there are two possible solutions for the Rady Knight problem. One... When you buy a set of skins, you are getting enough Radionite to upgrade every gun to the first variant. So you get 45, 90... Actually, what I'm talking about, it would be actually nice to get 90 Radionite. No, not, not all. I just want to have two guns. When I buy a set of skins, I just want to have two guns upgraded to the first variant. So if I buy the set of skins, I get 90 Radionite. So, uh, it's actually a bad example because this set of skins doesn't have var variants. But let's say we're going to buy, uh, let's say we're buying, um, here, Glitch Pop. We're buying Glitch Pop. So when we're buying Glitch Pop, I would like to have my Vandal and my Operator upgraded to the first level. So I want to have 45 Raiden Knight twice in the set. So when I buy it, I know that two main guns that I'm going to use from this set of skins, it's already going to have the cool stuff in it. The other option that I would like to propose to fix the Radionite system is to essentially copy the agent system from the contracts. So when you play an agent, you are building up experience, right? You're building up experience, you're unlocking some stuff. In this case, skins, sprays, bodies, and so on. I would love to have the same contracts going into skins. So when I'm selecting a skin that has upgrades, variants, and so on, there's an option to mark it as contracted. So when I'm playing the skin, right, uh, with that skin in mind, or with, or automatically, if I have a skin equipped, that gun gathers experience by damage done or by um, rounds played. I would say rounds played is the healthiest because if you're going to have damage done or kills, then people might actually start griefing games by forcing guns that they want to unlock, but they're not going to be good guns for the game. Right? So, most likely, it's just better to have guns being unlocked by playing a certain amount of rounds. And let's say, to unlock the first level, the VFX, right? You have to play, let's say, 1,000 rounds. Second level, 3,000 rounds. Next level, X amount of rounds, and so on and so on. So, it's not cheap. It takes time, you know? And, uh you're able to unlock the skins that you don't want to play to, to pay the Raiden Knight for. But if someone wants to upgrade the skin, he can still spend instantly Raiden Knight, buy it, or from the Battle Pass to upgrade those skins. My point is, if you're spending cash on a set that is upgradable, you shouldn't be forced to buy a separate product to finish the first one. You know? So, uh, yeah, I guess that's everything I wanted to say. Um, I love you, Riot. Hope you're not mad for me voicing my concerns, but I think this is a, something that, that is lingering in the community. We are talking less and less about this, but it's still an issue that I think hounds a lot of uh, players in this game. And I personally, I'm telling you, I would have spent probably 4,000 euros instead of 2,000 euros if I would be able to upgrade my skins more often. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment if you have a topic that we'd like to discuss in the next episode. Bye-bye.